I don't want to get into biggest winners, biggest losers. I mean, can you guys really differentiate who the biggest winners and biggest losers were of yes. these candidates? Really? Okay. I so think we're the biggest that. losers. <laughs> biggest okay. winner. Okay. Us, biggest losers. But yeah, I mean, relatively speaking, Kasich came off presidential. He, like somebody said, I think you said, he does well in this format. He, he, he had a good night of the three. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. But relative to these other guys, he had a good night. If, if anybody was still watching by the time Kasich, right. but and then we did, well, there was people still watching, so I, he did. Yeah, it was definitely Kasich. And it's look, it's the sort of state coming up, Wisconsin, that he could theoretically do okay in. So probably Kasich. All right. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Kasich said some reasonable things when it came to Muslims. So even though yes. he might seem like the biggest winner to us, I'm thinking about what the Republican Party's perception is and they're likely not going to vote for him because they're all shitting in their pants Maybe. over Muslims. So if, if he's saying, hey, you know what, there are moderate Muslims that we might want to work with and use as our allies against, you know, these fundamentalists, well, then uh, all of a sudden you yeah. lose a huge Republican base there. That Really fast, I think that should have been his example when they said, what's a time when you've taken a moral stand even though it will hurt you politically? He's doing it at the debate, not, not throwing Muslims under the bus. Exactly.